Today I'm going to show you how to fish in dirty water in the surf. Check this out. Here at the Thune Beach, and I've got a charter in just less than an hour. We're gonna see what we can catch in this dirty water today. I'm assuming it's gonna be bluefish, sharks, catfish, and whiting. We will see. Okay, we're already getting fit here on this little rod. What do we got here? Oh, a little bluefish. <laughs> Had that fresh dead shrimp on there. You like that shrimp. Uh, about 11 and a half to the fork, so he's got to go back. All right, buddy. You ready to go home? There you go. Woo! All righty. Well, let's bring him in. Doesn't feel like it's fighting as much. Uh, no. That's because it's not a bluefish. It's a little spot fish. We're going to keep this guy for bait. So let me go put water in the bucket. So you're gonna tighten this up because okay. we leave a little bit of drag. Okay. You're gonna pull it straight out. You don't need to set the hook or anything. Okay. Just start reeling. Okay. And you're gonna want to reel fast. There you go. Do we need to get a net? No, no. no? He'll come right up right. on the beach. Okay. It's a fish. <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs> it's another spot it's fish. Another spot fish. Yeah. yeah okay. Now. Those are actually good to eat. And then to get him off, he's not hooked too too hard. Thank That's you. That's another bait fish. Okay. Yeah, another cool. bait fish. So we'll take it. Yeah, we'll cast. Okay. Sounds good. So we're going to tighten this up. So that it's not moving. I'm going to pull it straight out and start reeling. That's all there is to it. And you want to reel as fast as possible. Keep the tension on the rod. Because if you lose the tension, the fish can jump off. Here we go. Oh, you got doubles. <laughs> you got doubles. <laughs> yeah, keep reeling up. I think we've got double spot fish. We got tons of bait. We got lots of bait. Yeah, you can you can cast now. Awesome. Yeah, let me grab some more shrimp on there. Oh, we put more shrimp on there. Yeah, yeah. So you put there... the shrimp on. Do you have to take this off? Nope. We're gonna keep that right on there. And that way, if the if the sh if they eat the shrimp off, we still have that bait. Okay. Like yeah. one of these flew off when I was casting it before. Yeah. And they just bite on the fish bites anyways. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a saltwater catfish. <laughs> Hardhead. I only know a couple people who try to eat these. <laughs> I eat them. I take the. Oh, you off do. And make a little, uh, well, you're welcome like to chicken. keep them. I, I make I like a chicken leg out of them. Really? Barbecue, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I'll have to get your recipe. All right, smile. I was talking to the fish. No, no. I've caught only four or five in my life. Nice. There we go. Cool. Get a picture with it. All right, what do we got? Another catfish? Yep. Smaller one. Do you want to keep that one too? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, be really careful. Yep. If you want to put the glove on. Oh, right. I used to do bull heads back home a lot. Okay. If it stings me, I won't blame you. Don't let it drop too much. Let's tighten it down and reel, reel, reel. Oh, you got another shark. That one's smaller than the other. <laughs> nice. See, we're catching sharks on the pompano rigs, <laughs> not on the cut bait, which That's is crazy. Funny. I'm going to look for some sand fleas, see if we can find some more bait. If we don't have a colony, what I usually do is look for where the, the waves kind of cross, like right here, they kind of cross each other. And I'll wait till the waves come up and as they're going back out, I'll drag this back the other way. So, whew. Kind of behind me. And as I'm walking, sometimes the sand fleas will jump up out of the way if I'm disturbing their peace. Oh, there's one. Yeah, we got one. So that's. Oh my god. They call them a mole crab. We call them sand fleas. Oh, there's another one. It's usually a one by one is how I'm getting them. This time of year. Yeah. But they feel our our vibrations of our footsteps, so we have to be careful not to like 
run. Woo! I don't want to run right up to where I saw him. And I, as I'm walking back, sometimes if there's a sand fleas like under where I'm at, then they'll they'll want to jump up out of the way. The birds can also be a good indicator of where the sand fleas are. So like there's a bird down there. If there was a bunch of them packing a lot, if the waves were coming in and out, then I would go, oh, okay, there they are. But I'll look for a place where the waves cross each other a little bit. Okay. The and that seems to be. Congregate there. It seems to be a place where I find them more than just a regular spot. I got a couple that time. I got a few. Oh yeah, look at that. Little guys. Another way you can get them out of the rake is to just come up where the Grab them. Yeah, I'll do that when I have a whole bunch and I don't want all the shells. Something on here. I don't think my GoPro is working. Yep, keep reeling. There you go. Yeah, I think we got a little blue. Oh, that's not too little. Yeah, he liked that. Uh, you like that sand sand flea? That's a blue. That's a blue fish. Yep. Nice. That. Yeah. Let's. Uh, here you go. Let's get a picture. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> he's got. Where's the minimum he's size? He's got some teeth. These have to be 12 inches to the fork in the tail. Well, so, I think from 11. He might be yeah, 10 and a half, yep. 11. Let's uh, we'll measure him up here. Yeah, what's the illegal? Uh -huh. Babies. There might be a bluefish run in there. There's a 12 to the fork, so he's he's so he's close. close. Oh, he's he about 11 and a half. Stretch his nose out. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. A little too small. That's all right. Yeah, we'll send him back. <laughs> all right, buddy. You got to go back. Well, we'll need to find some more uh, sand fleas. <laughs> well, this is the one I tossed close. So those bluefish are running close. We might have overcasted on the other ones. Oh my gosh, it could have been a bluefish too. Wow. Oh, that's... Or a big blue. That was, what was that? That was a spot. That's a spot fish, you can see that. <laughs> that was like, oh my gosh. You feel it? There we go. Looks like another catfish. Yeah, another catfish. <laughs> you feel anything fighting on there? Something. Oh, something little. Oh, he, he fell off. <laughs> he fell off. Hey, buddy. <laughs> There's another spot fish. Yeah. You want to keep him? Yeah. All right. Here you go. I think it's small, so it's not really fighting much if it's still on there. That was another spot fish. <laughs> That's okay. That's a little bigger one, though. Here you go. Very, very healthy. Yes, you have a good meal. Here. And everybody's busy. Oh, we got a jack. That's a good jack. It's. I mean, he's not huge, but these things fight pretty good. Look at him. So he'll eat kind of like a, um, like a pound, maybe? Uh, no, I've heard they don't taste like... Most people throw them back or use them for bait fish, but it's okay. up to you. I don't know if you've ever had Jack. I've heard yeah. people say they're trash fish, but Jack I don't prevail. believe there's any regulation okay. on them. Try it. Okay, I guess they're going to try it. All the fish in the cooler. Yeah, 10, that's number 11. Woo! Got another fish on this one. I'm guessing another spot fish. <laughs> we'll see. I think it's a little whiting. It's so little though. <laughs> oh, he came off. It's not quite as small as I thought. He looks so tiny from back there, but it's a little whiting. Yeah. Did you want to keep him? Yeah. All righty. Dude, 
cute. Okay. Cute. She's dancing away. Cute. Okay, 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 okay. Dude. I know, you see your friend in there, buddy. It's like the, the bucket of doom. 